Hey there internet, Keith here and welcome to the Cars and Keith YouTube channel and in this video we're going to put another Amazon pressure washer to the test. Another company sent me one for review even though I told them I was going to do an honest review and I was going to put it to the test. Now can this do 3000 PSI and 2.4 gallons per minute? No, it can't. But we are going to show you what it can do. There's more to this than just this. There's a reel on top and a hose and you know a, a long cable. We'll go over that a little bit later in the video. I'm doing this because mainly it's entertaining, but really just to show you that never believe the numbers that you see on Amazon. Now, can it be worth the $159 price tag for this? It sure can. Can it wash cars well? It probably can, but I just hate it when they exaggerate those numbers and make people think that they're getting something awesome because they may never have one before. They don't know what 3000 PSI is. They may think that's what they're getting and it's not. Uh, if you were getting that, you would blast the paint right off the side of your house, most likely if you're trying to wash your house. So before we can wash, we got to put her together. What does the whole sun come with? Now, this is a type of pressure washer that you see on Amazon with multiple different names. They all come out of the same plant. There's four or five different models, and but they're rebranded with tons of different brand names, uh, different pricing structures, but they all wind up being about between 150 and 160 bucks for this type right here. It comes with it's little foam. I call this a soap dispenser. Not really a foam cannon. It doesn't do a whole lot of foaming. Uh, it actually does come with a brush attachment as well. I would use this on wheels. It's kind of soft. I still would be reluctant to use it on the paint. Maybe the windows look pretty good. You got all your different, you got your 40 degree, your 25 degree, your 15 degree, your zero degree tips, and a little holder to put on here to hold the, uh, the gun. You have a gun. It does have a metal extension on it comes with a couple of screws to attach this right here to hold your extension cord on the back. Your extension cord, which looks pretty long, nice. It's got a GFCI, unlike the last Amazon one, which was like 20 foot cord and it had uh, no GFCI. It does come with a reel that goes on top and it connects to right there. The good thing about this one is this is a M22 fitting. I believe it's a 15 millimeter. So if we turn it around, the first thing we got is this little piece right here. It just kind of goes in that's going to hold your extension cord. There are four screws to put in. Next thing we do is slide the reel into the unit right here. And then once you slide it in, there's two holes down here for screws. This unit right here, there's a little slide right here on the side. Now on to hook it up the reel to the front. It's got an angled piece here, slides right in. Now from a rolling standpoint, I mean, I've got to bend over pretty far to reach the handle. So if I'm like carrying it like this, I mean, I'm just going to get a hunchback. I have unraveled it and I think I got it pretty straight. It is going to want to curl up in a ball. Okay, so you got your gun. And this does look like one of your normal um, adapters, but it's not. I have those adapters, this kind and this kind. These are two of the more common ones. Does it work? And this one, it doesn't work either. That sucks. Uh, so you can have these higher quality ones to kind of shorten this up so you don't have to have this as long, uh, but it does connect in, push it in slightly, it springs and then turns in place. The nice thing is you do have a quarter inch quick disconnect at the end and the foam uh, dispensing for that connects here so it's not so long on your gun. This does have that weird proprietary connection right here that you push this little button on the gun just like the other Amazon one I've tried. It pushes in there and connects and you have your gun. So you do have a unit in a box that has everything you need. All right, so we got the gun on. It does keep it straighter because of the weight at the end. It does still want to curl up and just looking at this reel and how it's built, you can't put another hose on this. Everything in this video, there'll be links below for it. Uh, this works awesome because you can turn the water on and off directly right here. We have our kilowatt unit here measuring our ampage, like 9.85. Very safe zone for most all 15 amp circuits that you'll see in houses. This is out of the box. 40 degree uh, nozzle. Really? 
900 PSI out of the box. So with what you're given in the box, you cannot achieve any of the numbers that they say. Not even close. A thousand, that's a third of what they said. I'm gonna show you what the back says. So here's what they state. 1.8 GPM constant, 2.4 max, 2200 PSI constant, and 3000 max. But the way advertising goes, that's what it's capable of. Not what you get out of the box. See, there's that little bit of red tape that they can use to just try to sell something. So with upgraded hose, upgraded gun, upgraded nozzle tips with different orifices, we could get more or less PSI, more or less GPM. GPM test. So as you can see, we're about 1.4 gallons per minute. So based off the numbers, we already have a car washing setup right out of the box, but we're nowhere near the potential of this unit. I don't know if you can see the number on that or not, but 25026. So the stock nozzles are a 2.6. That's an odd size. So here's our collection of nozzles and pieces that we're gonna use all the different sizes. We have our amazing wrench tool right here that I use uh, for foam cannons, this type of stuff, and a monkey wrench to get it all tight. So it's a 1.0 nozzle right here. I don't even think this machine is going to be able to push it, but if we wanted the highest PSI, this is the nozzle that's going to do it. Looks like it goes about to 1400 and just shuts off. Here's the amps. Looks like it peaked at about 11.5 and then just kept shutting off. So we've gone one step up to a 1.5. I still think it's going to be the same results. Same exact issue goes to 1400 and just shuts off. We did get a 12.3 there for a minute, which is still in the safe zone though, but it just like, it can't handle it. it just got to shut off. It runs a little bit longer, but not much longer. So we are at our 2.0 nozzle. I think this one will work. So we got about a constant like 1090. Really safe at 10.7, 10.8. And now that we got constant pressure, we could try the 2.0 GPM. So on the 2.0 nozzle, we're about 1.25. So now we have my 2.5. I'd say like 9.10, it is a 2.5. The one that came with it is a 2.6. So it should have just a little bit more. We're not going to do the amperage anymore because we know it's safe. 2.5 tip. So we're slightly less. It looks like we're at about 1.35 or so gallons per minute, maybe closer to 1.4 with the 2.5. 2.6 obviously got just a little bit more. So we're going to the 3.0 nozzle just to see. This is going to be the last one we do because it, this is already going to be pretty low. Like 700 PSI, that's pretty low. We are going to get more gallons per minute though. We'll probably get one over 1.5. Here we go, 3.0. Just as I thought, we are right at 1.5, a little bit over 1.5. So this is how it's set up right now. This actually keeps it from falling down as best I can. I could tug on a little bit. It's it's tipsy, but not as bad. This is as close as I want to get it because if it falls over, I don't want to hit the car. So you're probably going to have to wheel this around the car to get everything. Okay, so let's see how the stock one, the 2.6 that came stuck with it, is at 1.4 gallons per minute, uh, 900 PSI. So let's see how it works. Now, not that bad. Um, just don't like the control, it's too long. We are running out of daylight. I'm gonna have to bring out the uh, big lights. So, foam gun filled up halfway with W4 from G Technic, which is what I'll use in my foam cannon. Let's see how it works. Like I said, looks like a soap dispenser. Looks like you can only spray this way and not the fan I like, which is up and down. Like I said, it's a soap dispenser. <laughs> Not a foam cannon, that's for sure.
So we have an MJJC here. This is the Pro Version 1, and it's got a 1.25 in there. I really don't feel like finding a 1.1 orifice, but if you wanted more foam, 1.1 would definitely be better for a unit like this. It's only pushing out like 1.4 gallons per minute. I mean, it's really heavy on the end of one of these. I would never really suggest uh, doing one of these on this. I would prefer an upgraded gun. Well, we answered the question, can it foam? Yes, it can foam, but uh, <laughs> you really don't want to do it this way. You really do want a better gun because that's just, that's too heavy. Uh, you're not going to be able to upgrade with this little proprietary thing here. You're going to have to upgrade the hose and the gun, uh, but there's some good cheap options out there. I'm not going to show how this works with an upgraded hose and upgraded gun uh, because I personally wouldn't use this to upgrade that. Uh, we're going to put my 3.0 tip that I use on my current upgraded uh, gun and just see how it does. It'd be 700 PSI at 1.5 gallons per minute. And look, and see it touched my car. Oh. Oh. So in conclusion, is the whole sun pressure washer worth it at $160? No, it's not. Is it an okay unit for car washing? Absolutely. I mean, out of the box, it has the 1,000 PSI you're looking for, 900 PSI, 1.4 gallons per minute. Not bad, but what it comes with is just so cumbersome. The hose is just tangled all over the place. It's PVC, it has no flex to it. I don't even want to wind it up. It's so irritating. It keeps falling over. It has no weight to keep from falling over. So I have two suggestions for you. And one of them really has multiple suggestions. So you could go $100 Greenworks, $100 uh, Ryobi. Great machines. They're upgradable easy. They're 100 bucks. They can push these numbers, these exact same numbers, no problem. And get you way more PSI. Get you in that 1600, 1800 range for cleaning around the house, uh, cleaning the siding. It's nice and safe. Doesn't hurt the paint. It's perfect. I used one forever or go a hundred bucks more and you'll be able to get an out of the box solution like an active VE52, which I currently use. The hose that comes with it is great. The gun that comes with it, it is an elongated gun. Legally, they have to do that. You can't sell a short gun with a pressure washer. I don't know why, it's just some law. Uh, but the solution you get from that and with the foam that comes with it, the foam cannon, it's not bad. But really to me, a Ryobi, a Greenworks, a hundred bucks, you're going to be able to get a hose, a decent hose, a quarter inch hose at 25 feet. It's going to run you about 35, 40 bucks for a really good one. Uh, a guns, you can get a gun for 20 bucks, uh, $25, no problem. And there you go. Grab you a foam cannon for like 170 ish. You're like upgraded unit. You have the hose, you have the gun, you have the foam cannon, you have a thousand PSI, you have 1.4 gallons per minute. You're good to go. So I hope you enjoy that. Never believe the numbers on Amazon. Always look around. The reviews are deceiving because the people they send these to to review, they have no idea what pressure washers are, what they do. They take it out of the box and they spell their name in the dirt on the ground and say it works awesome because they don't want to not get free stuff again. Me, no. I want to be honest. And if they don't ever send me one free again, it's perfectly fine. I do have one lined up that I think will be awesome. It's not available yet. I'm going to get it before it makes market. So hopefully soon we'll be doing that one. I really think that's going to be an awesome unit. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Even though they, oh my gosh, another company sent me one for review. Oh my gosh. Another company sent me one. I wasn't recording. So let's put it together. People can't control their dogs. Nobody uses the leashes. There's a lawnmower every time I film. It's, it's middle of December. There's no place to put... A uh, tip that I have, I just take this... 800...
this is why you always check to make sure that your tip is secured. I think holding it in here like this caused the quick disconnect to 